everybody, my name is Tess Minnick, and on behalf of the Silton Foundation, I'm going to be teaching you a fun, quick and easy little tutorial on some uh, interesting variations you can do with your feet for West Coast Swing and beyond. So today I really wanted to do something kind of um, moonwalk-esque. I forgot what it was that I was going to teach. So I'm going to do something a little bit moonwalk-like, but we're going to play around with it and make it uh, a little bit more West Coast Swing friendly. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little exercise on how to just alternate our feet um, like we were doing the moonwalk. <laughs> to add a little slide effect to our dancing. So I'm gonna start by just standing, and this is a good thing to do in the mirror by yourself. Stand in a mirror and just practice releasing one knee, keeping the other leg straight, and then the other. So what that's gonna do is gonna create a flat foot on my standing foot, and then a bend in my knee. Now I'm not trying to bend my knee here, I'm just trying to release my knee so that I have a nice straight leg going back. It almost feels like I'm taking the back of my knee and pressing it backwards through space. So I'm gonna do that a couple more times. So I'm just gonna flip it, switch, switch. And this is your first exercise. So I'm gonna do that again for one more side so you can see that. I'm gonna relax the knee or release the knee and then switch sides. Switch and switch. Okay, now this part's a little bit tricky and it does take some practice like everything else. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually start to put some weight on the knee that's bending. So previously we just released our knee and we have pretty much no weight on that foot. But I'm gonna put a little bit of weight so that now what I can do is take my right foot and slide it back keeping my foot flat on the floor. When you first start doing something like this, I'm gonna show you from this angle actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and re release my, uh, my left knee. So my right foot is gonna be the one sliding back. Sometimes what happens in the beginning when you're practicing this is you can lift your heel and you kind of create that, uh, or you, you lose that moonwalk effect. So what I wanna do instead is as I slide my right foot back, I wanna keep my heel flat on the ground. So I'm gonna do that several times, but each between, between each time I do this, I'm gonna do a switch of the knees. So now I've got a little bit of weight on my released knee or my bending knee, and I'm gonna slide that foot back. I'm gonna do that again. Switch, slide. Switch, slide. Right off camera, hold on. <laughs> so if I do that a few hundred thousand times, I'm going to switch, slide, switch, slide, Switch, slide, switch, slide. I get a nice, easy moonwalk effect. Now, when you really get this down, you wanna be able to do this kind of at the same time. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just start from here. I'm gonna go slide and switch and slide. Switch and slide, switch and slide. Not to be confused with slip and slide, totally different thing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into, uh, so you can do that just like that. I could go slow, 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 and moonwalk away. But let's say I'm using the Vessel of West Coast Swing. I'm gonna show you how I like to put this into uh, maybe an anchor variation. So for example, if I'm doing this as a follow, I might do a sugar push, walk, walk, triple step. And normally I might go triple step, or five and six, here I'm gonna add my little moonwalk step. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna place my left foot in that position that we had before and slide to the side. And five, and then replace six. Let me show you that again. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. Let me show you from the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the other side this way. Ah, ah, five and six. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. Of course, you can do this as a leader as well on either foot. It's good to practice both, but I wanna show you one more variation. I wanna show you how to take this feeling of, it's almost like a moonwalk, not quite a moonwalk, but a feeling of sliding on the floor, gliding on the floor while you're turning or whilst turning. So here's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna show you first. I'm gonna do a free spin, walk, walk, five, three, excuse me, what, what count am I doing? Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, a little faster. One, two, three, and 
four, five, and six. So just to break it down a little further, here's what I'm doing. One, two, and about count three, I'm going to start putting my right foot in that position that we talked about earlier that released me, but I have a little bit of weight on it. Now, as I turn, I want to be careful not to lift my foot off the ground. Again, we want to keep that heel on the floor as I go three. And my goal is to keep this shape so that I end up facing the direction that I'm turning in before I put this weight on my foot for and, four, five, and six. And if you're really fancy, you can combine it like this. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. And that was your little weird moonwalk variation. If you don't know what the Silton Foundation is, I encourage you to go online and check it out. Um, it, I can't read, what is it? Got it www.thesiltonfoundation.org and you can find out all the information to uh, get financially taken care of for your dance education. Thank you so much for watching.